What is good, people, and welcome back to the channel. Um, this will be episode 7 of the uh, SWA series on TEW 2020. Uh, and this one, you'll notice a slight difference. Um, this is the first month we've decided to go with a mid-month show. Just an hour, basically, um, to try and get another show published where it would be increasing the popularity. So it's a lot quicker if we do two shows a month. Um, but we don't want to kind of... We've not got a TV show or anything. We're not big enough for that, so... We'll just do a kind of mid-month, one hour, and then we'll do the usual two hours at the end of the month. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that from now on. Just to, We might lose a bit of money, but the kind of trade-off of the popularity increase will be much better off for it. I um, just want to take the opportunity to say thanks very much to everybody who's been viewing um, and liking the videos. Um, the first video is close to about 100 views, which might not sound like a lot, but for like a channel that's just basically starting out, um, it's the first proper series we've done, then I'm delighted with that, so we'll take it. So keep smashing the like button, uh, keep watching, subscribing, all appreciated as usual, guys, and we'll keep plodding along. So enjoy this episode. Right then, let's just quickly have a recap on the news, first of all, before we go into the results for the mid-month show. Um, nothing really... I mean, in the, the wrestling world here, we've got Drew McIntyre wins the title again in SmackDown. They're running shows at like a 75, which is where we aspire to be at some point. Um, Shane McMahon's retiring, a couple of retirements there. Um, nothing really of note there. Booker T retiring, yeah... Pretty much. We did get a few news items since the last one. Drew McIntyre. That's a bit weird, actually. I've just noticed that. Like, the extension offer came up as Drew Galloway, but the contract ending came up as Drew McIntyre. Doesn't make any sense, but fair enough. Um, so, Leon Slater's moved to, to America, so like, highly unlikely we'll sign him. Nicky Storm signed a new deal with WWE. Um... Drew McIntyre is obviously the unicorn, so at one point if we managed to get big enough to hire him, that'd be good. Um, Joe Hendry's extended his deal with TNA. Um, I quite like Joe Hendry, actually. Like um, I've been watching a bit of the stuff he's been doing on TNA. I think he's doing some really good work on it, to be honest with you. Um, quite charismatic. He'll be quite good as a colour commentator, potentially, down the line. So, I think he's still accepting bookings, but He's wanting like 500 quid, so it's probably a bit out of our price range unless it's like a big pay-per-view, uh, well, say pay-per-view, but a big event, the bigger events we might be able to, to spare the cash for him. Um, but he's still based in Scotland, so we wouldn't have to pay um, travel fees for him anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it, except we've got a bit of romance in the locker room. We've got Anastasia and Kieran Kelly. They're now dating. Um, so that's Anastasia there, and we've got Kieran Kelly are now dating, so... Fair play to them. They're about the same age anyway, so go for it. Right, so we'll just skip on and we'll do the results of the show then. Right then, let's get into the mid-month show. Um, pretty much just booking, the way we're doing it, just to clarify, we're doing an hour in the second Saturday of the month. Just a kind of wee filler show between the big events. And we'll still do the two-hour events just at the end of the month. So... The first one, we've just had the same thing with Grado coming out. Gets us off to a nice start. Um, hypes up the crowd, welcomes up to the new show, blah, 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 blah. Um, good segment, starts with 55. It's a good, strong start. Now, we've got Lewis Govan, Miles Kamen. Um, Lewis Govan's had a cool momentum, um, and he's a good worker. Like, he always does well, so we wanted to give him a little win. Miles Kamen could probably handle a, a loss anyway, and I knew that'd be a good match anyway. So, a 31, that's a good effort. Put in a tag team here um, with BT Gunn and Stevie James going over Dicky Divers and Ravy Davy. Um, good wrestling, decent reaction from the crowd. So we're still keeping BT Gunn on the wins. Stevie James did a really good performance, actually. It's a 40. BT Gunn had a 37. Dicky Divers just not great in a 25, but a 34 segment. We'll take that, absolutely. Uh, right, so Debbie Diver 
Davy Dammer, sorry, Davy Dammer. <laughs> Davy Tyler, Dammer, sorry, um, has went on to a promo. She didn't do as well as she did the last time. I think the last time she had a promo, she was quite good at it. Um, but segment was a 28, which, considering we're only size 11, is still a good promo. So um, I might play about with putting her on script and off script, but um, or even making her work with an interviewer, maybe see if that helps it. Um Next up, we've got the, the main event. I think the, this wasn't the main event. Now, this is the, the last match before the main event. It was a good match. Chris Renfrew and Stevie Xavier beat it. Beat, uh, Mikey Whiplash and Craig Anthony on 12-24. And Chris Renfrew pinned Craig Anthony with a T-virus. Um, Craig Anthony was a weak link. He's actually he's actually a good worker. I don't know why his performances haven't been great. Um, again, we just wanted to use the most overstars so we get the highest rating possible. Uh, then the main event, a 37 so a good match, Kez Evans and Davy Blaze. Um, trying to keep Kez Evans on the warm momentum, try and get him hot up before they put him into a, a kind of run with somebody, a wee programme with somebody. So all together, let's see. Show was a 38, which I think is the best show we've had. Um, the only slight downside being the Debbie Dahmer promo, which is 28. The rest of it was all above 30, which is really good. Um, let's just give praise to... Stevie James was really good. Kez Evans was... Re- Basically anybody, or the, most people who got over a 40 will get um, praise. So it will be Stevie James, Kez Evans, and Lewis Garvin. Where is he? Yep. Just point to them as a good example. Perfect. Are you? Uh, so we'll just skip along now and we'll get to the... I'll skip into the game a wee bit and we'll just get to the end of the month show. Right then, let's get into uh, the end of the month show. Uh, we've got a bit of news to go through first, so we'll go through that. We've got someone who was on the short list who uh, is retired. It's actually, I think she was a good worker. Yeah, that's, that's a really good worker, to be honest, but retired. So we'll just actually remove her from the short list. There's no point in keeping her on. Um, Wolfgang, Wolfgang signed a new contract with WWE, so we'll not be signing him anytime soon. Uh, Super Crazy's retired. I don't think he was on the short list, was he? He might have been, actually, because um, we were looking for people who were quite over to use for shows. Um, Joe Coffey has moved to America. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's about it. Uh, oh, Anastasia is injured as well. That happened. Tone groin muscles. Let's go and dive in and see how bad that is. That's two months out. All right. It's not ideal because that puts us down to three women again on the roster. So, right. I think I've messed up Carmel Jacob here. It's the wrong button. Because I couldn't use her in that mid show. Um, please tell me she's not oh she is right I've not noticed that she's not a wrestler at all Um, I thought I signed a deal as right so we've made her another deal um, which basically says she can be a wrestler <clears throat> I've signed her as a manager by mistake Um, we might have to dip in and sign another female worker um, because, yeah, three is just not enough, I don't think. And big signing, Noam Dar has signed. We've got the Supernova. The Scottish Supernova has signed. Uh, we just gave in and just went with 100 quid because, you know what, he is a really good worker. Um, good experience, good reputation, really good uh, resilience and stuff like that. His stamina is really good, so he can have long matches. It'll be worth it in the long run, I think. Um, so we can debut him at the pay-per-view so let's just dive right in let's just dive in uh, we might play about with the ticket prices again um, just trying if we're still making money we can put the prices down and try and get some extra um, some extra fans into it so the venue we're expecting 58 fans so it's not going up yet so we'll go classic grand 
and let's book this to our show. So we'll just book the start because we always do that at the start. So because it's an off-screen show, we'll just book Grado um, uh, opening the show. Hypes the card. Um, okay, doc. Now, well, I think actually what we'll do is I had an idea. Um, pretty much because Adam Shame is rubbish <laughs> when we put him in a uh, uh, put him in any angles and stuff or any matches. He's just not great. I'm going to turn Chris. I'm going to turn Chris Renfrew. Right, I can't then. So the different rate, so the, the the turn I did was an off screen turn. So I can't turn him. Can I turn Adam Shame then? Yeah, I was right. I had a plan of basically putting them together. Um, just I don't know, just so that Adam Shame can eat pins and stuff on to the tag team match because he's Chris Renfrew will get upset if I get rid of Adam Shame. So I don't really want to do that. Right, that's the idea scuppered then. <laughs> right, we'll have... Um, let's have a look at Chris Renfrew. I don't have anybody for him to go into a set a program with at the minute, really. Um, so what, we'll have him go a little period of time of doing open challenges. Um so he can open challenge Mikey Whiplash because Mikey Whiplash is a good worker so he can get a good match out of that. Uh, Chris Renfrew. We, I actually just remembered that we booked Chris Renfrew with a cheap win. That doesn't really fit the heel face dynamic but I thought he was a, a heel for some reason so that's fine. What we need to do is we need to go in and quickly... Um, how did I do it again? Yes, I'm here. I need to take her off manager and road agent. Can't put her on wrestler as well. So we'll do that for now because she, we accidentally put her on road agent duties and she sucks at that. So, uh, well, I think she's bad at that. I actually haven't checked her stats for that. Yeah, she only got a 10 for respect, 38 for experience, and her ring psychology is no good. So, yeah, that's not. Not a role for her. Um, we'll say that. Right, let's go with a multi-man match or a tag. We'll go a tag. In fact, we'll, we'll uh, book the angle for... We need to add in the... Right, where is it? In-ring? Is it in-ring? Open challenge or something like that should be. I need to go through, actually. I did say this in one of the last ones. Um, I need to go through and add the ones that we potentially use. Um, in ring. Um, no. What about interview challenge? One versus one. Right, okay. And we'll close that. We'll come back in. Interview challenge one versus one. So a standard interview, one wrestler comes to the ring and answers a challenge. All right, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we want. We, the interviewer will be um, Billy Kirkwood, because he's good. Um, take off that. Um, and so I take it. Chris Renfrew's doing the open challenge and Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, wait, what can you call him? Mikey Whipwreck for the ECW days. And uh, Mikey Whiplash is coming in. And he's saying, like, I'll take the challenge up. Um, let's do it basically uh, so let's actually make that a title match because I didn't do that so a title match that will headline the show we'll add a nice uh, let's put a 1v1 I want to try and give some of the good guys whose uh, momentum's cooled a win yeah so let's give Craig Anthony a win um, who can we put him over? Who can eat a win, a loss here? Right, let's see. Mm, poor Krieger, I was going to use Krieger again, but... 
Who can I put him over? I want someone who's... We need to have a... We'll have Noam Dar come in and interrupt a match, I think. Just a big dramatic... So, Ravy Davy, let's stick him in there. He can lose to him. Um, and let's give Craig Anthony the win. Let's do it as a submission win. I, I'm looking from this, but I think doing a submission win with a couple of guys that are technical gives you a better match rating. But I don't don't quote me on that. I just think that that's how it works. Or at least that's how I've been booking it. Pinfalls for brawlers, that kind of stuff. Because... Surely I brought someone who's not great with technical finishing a match on submission wouldn't look the best or wouldn't be the best ending. Um, right, so let's add a couple of lightweight guys in. So who have we got? Kenny Williams needs a match. He needs a win. Um, who can I put him over? Leighton Buzzard, maybe? Yeah, he's got good momentum. And we're annoyed at Leighton Buzzard. He just asked for a, a pay rise. So, what's the stamina like? Let's see if we can push up the match a little bit. Um, stamina's excellent, right? What about Leighton Buzzard? Can we do them as like a 15 minute? Mm, maybe. Because what's his um, ring psychology? No, very good. So I don't want to put them in too long a match because that's I think that's how it ends up. Um, the match goes kind of lows in the middle of it and you don't get as good a rating. Uh, we will ask them to go all out though. Just try and get a really good match out of them. Let's do it a short one. An eight minute one, all out. Just give us everything. Um... Let's get how much, which one of the girls is is any of the girls good on promo? She's actually not too bad. Let's see. She's not very over. Right, we're going to do an interview. One versus one. We're going to use Jokey. We're going to use Billy Kirkwood, and she's going to be. Challenging Debbie Dahmer for the title. Oh yeah, I forgot to take him off. No, off. Um, advance the storyline. Advance the women's storyline. So she's basically challenging for the title, but we're going to give Debbie Dahmer a nice run. So Jokey will lose this one. Fairly certain David Armour is a face. Um, so I don't want to give her a cheap one if she is. Um, she is a baby face, right? She's got good momentum as well, so she'll be getting more over. Let's put the title on the line. Um, and we'll pick that. All right, okay, maybe not then. I, don't, I really don't have anybody else that I can put in a match with her to her because Anastasia is injured. Right. We'll just have Debbie. Oh, we just had that last one. I can't really have... The, this is why I need more women on the roster. We'll see if we can sign another one after this show. Right, I'm going to have to just leave them off this show because I can't really have her doing anything. Um. Right, let's do... Let's, who else is needing a win here? Right, we'll get Liam Thompson. Yeah, let's... T ah, that's what we'll do, right? We want to keep booking the new guys strong. Let's do a three-on-three, three, actually. No. Hmm, BT Guns are heel, isn't he? Yeah, right, okay. We'll give Looking Sharp and Liam Thompson a win over... Just use Dicky Divers again, poor guy. The poor guy is getting buried. <laughs> um, we get Robbie Wisher on the right. We'll get Stevie James. Stevie James can lose one. Um, because he's got good momentum. So we'll give Looking Sharp the pin over Dicky Divers. Poor guy is getting buried. Um, pick that. Just pick that as a little match in there. 
Uh, let's take that out because that's not happening anymore. Um, right. Uh, let's give Robbie Wisher a match. This is the one that we're getting. Noam Dar is a technician wrestler. Right, okay, we'll not put him in this one because this one we're going to have. Kieran Kelly can lose again. He's still happy, so we'll book. Robert Wishart to go over in that one. I keep calling him Robbie. I just feel as if that rhymes off the tongue better. Robbie Wishart. Rather than Robert. So formal. Um, right. Need a storytelling match as well. I could put in the two heavyweight guys and just get Adam Sheen losing. And just book this as storytelling. It's going to be a bad match anyway, so I may as well put it as storytelling because Adam Shame is not the best. We won't forward the storyline because if it's not a good match, let's just give them a short one. Give them a short one. Um... Who's uh, right, Stevie Xavier? Two major stars. I've got an idea. Mm, I've got an idea of having Stevie Xavier announce a tag. Hmm. Could have Stevie Xavier announcing a new tag? Partner in it being Noam Dar and giving them a win. Let's do it. Let's let's get. A, we'll just do it as a freestyle, right? We'll do Grado. Um, we'll do Stevie Xavier. So what we'll do is uh, Stevie. Um, Gredo puts Stevie in a tag match, asks him to find a partner. And then we'll pick the match, which will be Stevie Xavier, and it'll be Noam Dar, and they'll be... Mm, BT Gun's got good momentum. I don't know if I want to kill that. We'll give BT Gun a one over Krieger. Um, Davy Blaze can take another loss here. Where is all my heels? Do I need to hire some more heels? Kez Evans, we need to use Kez Evans actually. Um, mm, 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 think, think, think. Right, I've got Davy Blaze and who can we put them in with? Could just do a BT gun, do you know that? Then we'll have Davy Blaze. Taking the pin on that one, and we'll get no arm door. Booking that, just we know that'll be a good match, it'll be quite a popular match as well. So let's put that quite high up the card. Uh, we've still got a few we can add on here, haven't we? Who have we not booked? Right, we want we want to give. I got Leighton Buzzard in a match already. I have, don't I? Yeah, with Kenny Williams. Could we maybe make that a two on two? Change that to a two on two. Change Leighton Buzzard here. Well, I think we were giving Kenny Williams the one anyway, weren't we? Just 
put Lewis Garvin in there. Um, and Miles Cayman, yeah. Yeah, Kenny Williams can win. Let's give the loss to Leighton Buzzard. Uh, we'll rename that. Right, let's see. Add a match. Who have we not booked? I know we're not going to book the women into anything. What am I doing? What am I doing? Right, we just need Kez Evans and... Do you know, we'll just do a, th we'll a three-man match for that. We'll just put Grado in a match. Why is it it's so hard to find the fucking three way? Three way. I just want a normal three way match, man. What is going on? There we go. Right. Let's just pick Grado, Kez Evans, and Krieger. We're literally just keeping some of these guys warm. We might need to make another few signings. Do you know that? I don't think the roster's particularly empty, but I just feel as if we're kind of restricted to having a lot of the same matches. Um, and it means I can have extra matches and put some of the guys into a programme. I think we'll do that, but I think we're good. We put a storytelling match in. Um... We'll not be penalised for that, right? Let's go for it. Let's go for this. I'm confident this is going to be our next best show. Grado with not a great start, even though he is usually really good at that. I thought he's still good. Um, struggled when going off script. Um, Robert Wishart defeated... Yeah, see, that's why I always put pinfall in, because submission's not really great for high flyers. But Robert Wishart was... <coughs> Pardon me, off his game, but he still had a performance of 35. It's not too bad. Oh, this was not a good match at all. Both of them were really not good in that match at all. There. This was a better match. But they had great wrestling and decent reactions from the crowd. Kenny Williams and Lewis Garvin defeated Leighton Buzzard. Miles came in 8 minutes 46 seconds. Um, Lewis Garvin again with a brilliant performance, Leighton Buzzard with a brilliant performance as well, so those two guys can get praise that was good that was decent uh, 36 for um, Grado basically booking Steve Xavier in a tag match and telling him find a partner, so he struggles about, shuffles about backstage, tries to find a partner um, Adam Shame, I, I, honestly every single performance for this guy is under a 20 I think we'll make another couple of signings. I'll, I'll look and see what other Scottish guys are out there. Because um, when we brought in BT Gunn and Liam Thompson, it was two good signings. I just think there's not enough depth in the roster. I'd rather not use this guy, to be honest, because that's just dragging down the the overall segment ratings. This was a better match. But it had good wrestling and decent reactions from the crowd. Luke King Sharp and Liam Thompson defeated Dickie Divers and Stevie James in 10 minutes. Um, great performance of Luke King, Stevie James and Lewis Leighton Buzzard will give praise to. So, Lou King, Stevie James, Leighton Buzzard. <clears throat> Grado was excellent as well. I think Stevie James is one of these guys in this. It's just constantly over a 40, which is really good. And this was a good one as well. Noam Dar was a 42. Should we just give Noam Dar a bit of praise just because he was he's new? Daily Blaze wasn't great. But basically, no, I'm Dar and BT Gun were the standouts for that one. Right, this worked really well. Chris Renfrew does an interview with Billy Kirkwood. Um, Mikey, with Mikey Whiplash. Aye, so he, it was an open challenge, right? Mikey Whiplash comes down and he's like, right, I'll take you on. That'll do. Uh, yeah, I've already booked it, so it's fine. Um, and about their great wrestling and good heat so it was a decent main event we got a good se segment out at the start of it and then we got a nice 33 out of that with Chris Renfrew being good as well let's see what the final rating was a 34 which was a good show considering 
Uh, a couple of the matches were in the 20s. Um, that 42 was really the standout segment there. So the praise is going to Stevie James, Lewis, Garvin, no, Leighton Buzzard actually, because he was a lot better, and we'll just give Noam Dar praise, just um, give him a hug, we'll give him a hug, right? <laughs> Great performance for the two guys doing a f over a 40. Sometimes it glitches out and you don't see how the reactions were. So we'll just come back, we'll do a recap of the month, check the finances and stuff, uh, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, let's recap the month and how it went for us. This was the first month that we did the mid-month one-hour show, um, and then the kind of two hours at the end. So did we get any news about... Oh, yes, LA Knight won the championship, the heavyweight title, so they're pushing him quite high. Excellent match as well on 81, that's brilliant. Um, did we get, we didn't even get a news item for, um, <clears throat> for our show, did we? Nothing in the news at all. Let's check the old finances. Right, so we only lost 700 quid. That was the show costs, putting on two shows. I don't know how it costs us an extra grand putting on reproduction costs because I haven't edited that at all. That's a strange one because we made a thousand pound off ticket sales. Hmm. I really, I don't understand how the production cost was a thousand pounds. Well, I don't understand why it's if it's 250 quid per show and we did two shows, it should be 500 quid. Oh, is it usually costing seven, four, five? Right, got you, never mind. Never mind. Right, so that's why that's cost an extra 250 quid. We paid the workers for an extra one, right. All right, fair enough. That makes sense, I suppose. I mean, we're kind of... We could probably eat that. We were losing double that at one point, so we're not at that stage, which is good. Um, has the size gone up? Yes, we're up to a 12, right? We need to get to 17. We're at 12. It's exactly the right direction we're heading in. Um, we need to get to 17, and then we might think about doing YouTube and stuff again. Because we, we should, I think, if I remember right, we start getting a bigger um, spread like for YouTube and stuff, so we should get better sponsorship, all that kind of good stuff as well. So we'll take that. We'll come back for the next show, um, which is Glory in Glasgow. Uh, pretty much all... No, that was War for the North, never mind. Uh, it's Epic in Edinburgh is the next one. Uh, we'll come back and do that one. Um, yeah, um, then we've got three to go before the end of the year. And then we go back to Hogmanay Heat. So, yeah, thanks very much for tuning in, folks. Um, really enjoying the series, actually. Um, enjoying getting stuck in it. It will be better when we get down the line. I think I'll beef up the roster for the next show. I'll have a wee look tonight. Um, we'll see if we can get a new few new signings in, just to beef it up so that we can get more kind of rotation of, like, the matches, filler matches, that kind of stuff. And we can start putting the guys into some storylines and stuff. So thanks very much for viewing. Any likes, comments, appreciated as always. And I'll see you on the next one.